The Trade Database for the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, CITES, indicates that between 2008 and 2017, approximately 6.2 million pounds of conch meat were harvested for commercial purposes, a majority exported to the United States. Glover's Reef is considered one of the highest priority areas in the Mesoamerican reef system, providing nursery and feeding, as well as a unique habitat for lobster, conch, and finfish. Commercial exploitation of conch in Belize began in the early 1960s. It has since grown to become one of the country's largest overall exports. According to the Statistical Institute of Belize, in 2017, it was worth 7.3 million Belize dollars. Undoubtedly, high demand for produce puts tremendous pressure in certain areas where there is limited enforcement, particularly in Area 3 on the fisheries map. As it relates to enforcement in the particular area of Area 3, which encompasses northern, Dangriga, northern part of Dangriga, in the area of southern Lanky, to as far south as Cocosola area, which also extends into Area 4, is that we have been doing an utmost best to ensure that we boost up presence in this area. It has been well documented that that is one of the areas that we have um, seen a decline in our conch fishery in the area in particular. With almost 3,000 fishermen operating across all eight areas identified on this map, it's easy to see how most of them would attempt to swarm the locations where conch are abundant. Glover Reef is not a big area. It's a small area for the amount of fishermen, the amount of boats, because we have new boats coming in, new faces, fishermen who I don't know, they get licensed, how I don't know. Someone who they help me out get a license. But all of this, you know, we need to talk about this. It is a conversation that needs to be held urgently in light of what has taken place in the Bahamas and Jamaica, where conch seasons have come to an abrupt end due to overfishing. In Jamaica, a ban on conch is set to go beyond March 2020. An analysis of data on the conch population off its coast suggests that the prohibition on the fishing, sale, and export of queen conch will be stretched beyond the one-year timetable announced by government. It could take years before the conch stock is replenished to commercially viable levels. In Belize, the writings are on the wall for Area 3. We have more presence of fishermen in that area in particular. As the challenge with it is that Area 3 is one of those areas that is well off uh, in terms of distance and coverage. It, it, it creates some kind of problem in terms of presence. In addition to that, the limited resources that we do have, that we have to work with, we have to ensure that we pool with other entity and do joint operation. And that is what brings this team of fisheries and coast guard officers together. With only 85 gallons of fuel at their disposal, these men are tasked with patrolling a vast expanse of sea space within a two-week period, using a relatively small, single-engine fiberglass launch. In 1996, this location was designated by UNESCO as one of seven protected areas that together form the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System, a World Heritage listed site. It's next to impossible to provide complete coverage of the water surrounding Glover's Reef. Can I ask you perhaps what are some of the observations you've made working in this area over the past four years? The one again, speak on. Nah, they won't allow me to speak on that. While Harris is not able to speak on his professional observations, what is apparent is that the department is severely under-resourced. It only becomes evident when his patrol encountered seasoned fisherman, Leo Bihilo Tamai, who has been fishing here for the past 33 years. He received an earful for failing to patrol certain areas of the reserve, where it is believed that illegal harvesting was taking place earlier in the day. The kind of patrol we have is not pretty well patrol. We need to change this officer, we need to change this uh, person who get in the uh, world in this. This is a productive area, but the kind of uh, a secure where we get, we have not the proper secure. We, we see that many kind of things happen, like today. We see a boat gun up so fishing the whole marine, come pick up the people there, and then come in. And like nothing, like they're blind, like they don't see. I feel really, really disappointed.
a point about this because I represent the, the um, fishermen from Sardinia at working globals and all the fishermen come to me and say, why what are you you need you encourage we and then then they allow the other person to dive in the Arco in the reserve. That's not fair. That is not the correct way. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.